Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today, buckle up. <laughs> I bought something that I didn't expect to see for a while. Missed my first opportunity to pick this up and then saw that it had landed. My budget was not ready for this. This is one of the most expensive purchases that I have ever made, but I saw this drop and it was the exact variant that I had wanted. And I thought, I don't know if I'm going to get another chance anytime soon. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I didn't buy this because I feel like it's going to like go up in value and become extremely rare. I don't know. No, I wanted this knife. And I've wanted this for a very, very long time. In fact, I'm sure that a bunch of you are wondering why I didn't have one of these in my collection originally. But I got one. Picked it up at PVK Vegas. Um, paid full price for it. I will make sure that PVK is linked down below. I think they actually still have some other versions of this. But I'm very excited. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please, make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's get into this box carefully. Probably here. Yeah, this just, just arrived. And I thought, I didn't think it was going to be here until later today. It was actually supposed to be here yesterday and then got delayed. So hold on, there might be a, is there a receipt? There's a bunch of tactical peanuts here. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, okay. Well, then I'll just have to, have to make sure to print that later. We got a skiff. What is a skiff? I'm sure you guys know, right? I'm gonna put my gloves on. It's uh, it's gonna be that kind of video. So just bear with me here for a second. I I'm gonna wear the gloves for a second until I get an idea of whether or not it's gonna pick up fingerprints. I might take them back off. Not because it's delicate. It's not because it's delicate. Because I don't want my nasty fingerprints all over the knife for the video. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah oh boy that is freaking beautiful we have a uh zircatai beautiful zircatai pocket clip look at that man what an absolute stunner of a clip massive zircatai pivot collar with a beautiful sort of uh, like purple uh, adjustment head, actually on both sides, sort of an indigo purple, right? The textured titanium, which is something that, you know, I handled my first skiff a long time ago and uh, knew that I wanted one, but I was like, I'm going to wait for a crazy version of this. The texturing is exceptionally beautiful. We have a uh, purple blue backspacer. I wish that the backspacer had been Zircatai as well, but hey, listen, I'll, uh, that's fine. I'll accept this, right? Very heavily polished backspacer as well. You can see that we've got pretty much a mirror finish on there. And then finally, here we go. Oh, a polished Damacore blade. Oh boy, that is exceptional. As soon as I found out that you could occasionally get these things in Damacore, um, I was like, yeah, I think that's what I want. That's what I want to do. I am a huge fan of how they do the flipper tab in combination with the choil on these knives. That rarely works and it very much does work with this guy. Um, I also, you know, I know that they have a new, this is the Drifter. I know they have a new uh, model that is a drop point blade, but this is the first one. This is the like the first time I ever saw a skiff knife. It was the Drifter with this blade shape, and I just locked onto it. You know, like the first. It's kind of like imagine the first time. Like if you're a Hinderer fan, imagine the first time you see a Hinderer. You know, a lot of times it's you know the first blade shape that you see is how you think of the knife from that point forward. Even if later on down the road you see a blade shape you like better, it's kind of you always remember the first one that you saw, right? It doesn't have to be hinder, it can be anything. But I just, I was like, I have to have that blade shape. That's just so unbelievably cool. This was a ridiculously expensive knife. And if you're wondering, these are made in the United States. One of the things that these knives tend to boast is super duper smooth action. Um, I think there's also a decent break-in period with this. 
But right out of the box, it's pretty darn smooth. I have no doubt that that will get completely and totally fall shut over time. Very, very nice detent. I think um, this uh, titanium, I don't think is going to pick up anymore. I mean, just the combination of the um, the texturing and, you know, the, I mean, it, it's polished. This is, this is polished titanium. But the texturing, I think, will keep my fingerprints off it. So I'm going to go ahead and just handle it because I mainly want to um, feel that flipping action here. It's been, it's been a couple of years, I think. Oh, man, these are so nice. <laughs> perfect, perfect centering, no detent lash. Oh, I'm so happy to have one of these in my collection, finally. I love, man, look at that. The polishing on the titanium is so beautiful. And, you know, I think the main thing, one of the main um, aesthetic draws to these knives is the, um, it's the pivot collars, right? They're huge. Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't, but they're kind of like domed and it, it just looks really cool. I have knives that have much more Zircata on them, but remember, this is a USA made custom. And we're also looking at Damacore, which some people don't realize exactly how expensive of a material that is. If you think Damasteel is expensive, Damacore is off the charts. It is super expensive to uh, utilize Damacore or to, you know, buy it and then turn it into a blade, right? So we have beautiful titanium, quite a bit of Zircatai, right? Quite a bit of work in general, a Damacore blade. And then to top it all off, these are made in the USA. So if you go and check these out and you're like, why are they so expensive? It, that's why, right? You don't, I mean, you don't have to, to you know, buy it or anything like that. But as far as the pricing goes, that's that's how it is. And you can get them for substantially less. In fact, I considered looking at one of the $1,200 variants. Um, and I thought, no, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to go all out and get the, exactly the one that I wanted, which was Damacore and then um, Zirkatai for the accents. Um, again, I think the only thing that would have made it better for me is if the pocket clip was also Zirkatai. But that would have bumped it up again. A little bit more and honestly they match the um, backspacer really well to everything else I also like that they went ahead and anodized these screws down here I think that's uh, I think that's really nice I am extremely pleased Man, the cutting bevel and everything is just perfect this entire thing is just absolutely perfect very pleased it, making purchases like this is always nerve-wracking but I have heard from everybody you know hey if you're worried about whether or not your multi-thousand dollar knife is going to be absolutely perfect. You do not have to worry about that with Skiff. Uh, it, it's going to be perfect. And so I'd only ever handled one, and that one was perfect. And I thought, okay, uh, you know, as a fan of custom knives and USA-made knives and exotic materials, this one feels like a no-brainer. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger, and I am completely and totally satisfied uh, based on first impressions. Um, I will actually re-review this knife because it's been a long time and I think that there's actually a few differences between this and the skiff that I handled. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, PVK Vegas has the skiff and the new model, which the name is escaping me, but you guys can check it out if you want to. Um, very happy with this. Very, very cool stuff. Um, I think that's going to be that's gonna be pretty much it today, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, for watching, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't, uh, do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.